So here we are at my boat shop and you can see my uh, boat that I'm working on in there. It's coming right along. However, interesting thing today, look what happened to me. I had the opportunity to snag this lovely two-cylinder St. Lawrence number 117. It seems to be fairly complete, although not original. You can see the uh, drain cocks are a little different. The bolts on the head here have been changed or dealt with in some way. There was obviously a leak in this, this pipe. There's a bunch of old friction tape wrapped on it. Uh, let me see if I can get the uh, tag. I don't know if that's going to come out all right. I don't think so. Uh, the, uh, there's a muffler on it. Although there's no drain, drain for the muffler that I could see. Anyway, there's the, the carb and you can see uh, this uh, nice shebbler. Looks like one inch. And it seems to be in relatively good condition and it's free and it has compression it doesn't seem to make too much noise when you rock it back and forth and then along with it um, it's a Detroit uh, transmission and that seems to be a relatively good nick as well that's there's the reverse position with the uh, band tightening on the uh, body and then forward. But uh, that was my good fortune. It was sitting in a basement for 40 years, uh, heated. You know, it was a you know cool basement, but it was never outside. Apparently, it came from a 30-foot fantail boat that had been converted from steam to a sailboat, and this was the auxiliary engine on it. So it was. This was 40 years ago, and the fantail conversion was 20 years or 25 years before that. What happened to the boat? We sort of have some idea, but not. We lost track of where it was about, about 10 years ago. Uh, there's a little bit of evidence here on the uh, on the head of. Oops, let me see if I can of the uh, nickel plating. It's a little bit left there. You can see a little bit of the flakes coming off. So it may have been run, but not run all that hard. And it seems, again, there's some friction tape on that passage between the two cylinders. Um, water pump seems to be in relatively good condition. So I think this might just be the engine that goes into this uh, fantail that I'm working on here ever so diligently that's really the see that big hunk of rot there that'll all get cleaned up but it's it's uh, it's coming right along